Hey guys, this is uh, RoboGuy75. How's everyone doing? Well, I'm here to talk to you about... Well, I'm just gonna let it out. I finally got Black Ops 2. Or, I got it for Christmas. I finally tried it out, and here's my personal review. I'm not gonna go all, all fanboyish and go, Oh my god, this thing is crap. It's 0 out of 10, all that shit. I'm not taking sides. I'm not siding with the Call of the Enlightenment Army. However, I'm not siding with the anti trolls either. I'm I'm gonna just ah, sorry. I'm gonna do this for my own personal opinion. So if either side gives me trouble, then fuck off. First off, I'm gonna start with the campaign. First off, I'll admit it's actually one of the best. Or at least my personal favorite. I think it's actually the best one since Modern Warfare 2. Or at least Call of Duty 4, in my opinion. I really like the story. It's great to see all my old favorites like Woods and Alex Mason, as well as some new guys like David Mason, Harper, and Farid or something. The villain? Jesus Christ, Raul Menendez is a freaking maniac. I do sympathize with him, however, he's done some things that I really wanted to blow his fucking head off. I also like the fact that there was branching storylines and stuff. That was actually a pretty interesting outcome. I wouldn't ex I wouldn't exactly say that's original. However, I will admit it's at least nice of Call of Duty trying something new for a change. So I'll give him that. One thing I hated though was the freaking Strike Force missions. They are annoying as hell and I really wish they just put those out, or at least improve them so they wouldn't be as annoying and frustrating. All in all, I still think the campaign is pretty fun, and it does definitely has a lot of replay value. So, in my opinion, it gets a 9.4 out of 10. Yeah, I know that's a bit high, but if it's something that I can be able to replay a lot, and it's at least decent, then I'll give it that high. However, it doesn't even come close to other campaigns. Like, it gave most of the Halo games over 9.5, Mass Effect 2 being, like, 9.9, .9 or at least 10 out of 10, Battlefield 3 being pretty high, or, okay, oh man, that one's actually pretty low. Except the multiplayer is better. And so forth. Multiplayer, only tried a little bit of it. Same old fucking crap. I can't exactly give it a low score. Okay, wait, what if I say yes, I will, but I'm not sure about the number. So it's the same old shit, just with no fancy guns and shit. Zombies? It's lost its touch. It's just not as awesome as it was in World of War or even in Black Ops 1. It's just... I really wish they worked on it better. I mean, the old ones were classics. These ones are just... Ugh. So that one's a pretty low one, so... Oh no, Black Ops 2... To be honest, it's at least worth it for the campaign. It's definitely worth checking out if you want a decent... Just uh, running around shooting people and stuff, but at least a decent story and branching storylines that make it even more interesting. If you're... If you just say the campaign sucks and only care for multiplayer, then you're not a gamer. You're just a little kid who always wants to play Call of Duty rather than playing good games. However, I'm giving this one a free pass for the campaign. Zombies. If you want to play good zombies, go play World of War Black Ops 1. That's all I'm saying. Is it one of my favorite games of the year? Surprisingly, yes. However, I'm putting it pretty low on my list. I'm actually not sure how many games I got this year that were new that like, I still need to put it, but it's probably going to be the lowest on the list. That's all I'm saying. So, it's not amazing, but it's at least nice that we got a game with at least a decent campaign once again. And, hey, Call of Duty is always known for making decent campaigns, but the multiplayer has lost its, lost its charm. So yeah, is it the best Call of Duty? Fuck no. However, it definitely comes close. 
to being as good as like Modern Warfare 2 or Call of Duty 4. That's all I'm going to say. Well, see you next time, guys. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to put on my personal opinion. So yeah, I'm not taking either sides in this review. So if either of you guys have a problem, don't even bring it up. Just take it up somewhere else. So yeah, I'm favoring Call of Duty for at least a decent campaign. However, I'm not going to go fanboy and say it's the best game of the year. That award goes to games like either Halo 4 or Journey or Borderlands 2 or even The Walking Dead. That game was awesome. Oh, and Dishonored as well. Get that one. Well, see you next time, guys. Oh, just one more thing. Stay after the credits. Trust me, it is one of the most random things you will ever see in your entire life. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, when I first saw it, I didn't even know what to freaking say. Just check it out. It is freaking worth it.